Last year, Alltech launched a new kind of global ag tech accelerator, and the response was phenomenal. We had almost 200 applications from 38 countries across the world. And of those final 10, six went on to be listed in the global top 100 ag tech startups. These were startups taking on problems like spray drift, or farm management, or autonomous irrigation and sensors, disease detection in crops with drones. And this year, we have an incredible new set of startups to share with you. Pierce Lines Accelerator is a way that Alltech is helping startups both internally and externally develop their business plans and of course possibly raise funding. We were really interested in looking at how we could bring entrepreneurship not just to our conference but also internally into the company and it's been really interesting to see how they feed off each other, learn from each other and I believe it's the first time that's ever been done in the world. We are gearing ourselves up to be a tech company and as a tech company our main focus is currently on technology. However, we are entering into the feed industry and the animal husbandry industry as a whole. And Alltech are kind of one of the leading players in this area. So to have that kind of standing on the shoulder of giant's ability is fundamentally important for us. So everything from marketing strategy to distribution channels to finding suppliers, uh, from legal and regulatory help. So it's been a really, really big help for our team at Truly in bringing this business to fruition ability to work with other founders, the program itself and the ability to come out of it with deliverables, a better pitch, a better slide deck, escalating our product and, and our road to market. Just being around all the other startups, I mean you kind of see their highs, their lows and you can kind of uh, empathize and sympathize with them now because you're experiencing a little bit of that yourself. And as you're both trying to accelerate ideas before the one conference, it's just a shared energy and hopefully um, a shared vision for kind of helping our industry. I think last year we already learned a lot about accelerators and what works and what can be effective. This year was just taking it on a little bit further, a little deeper. But from my perspective, this is clearly the future of innovation. It's clearly the future of agricultural innovation. This is the opportunity to really dramatically disrupt traditional business and produce food in a way that's more sustainable.